Welcome to another edition of Skip Rent or Buy. Tonight I'm looking at Dark Angel, A.K. I Come in Peace, A.K. Death Angel, A.K. Lethal Contact. And by the way, this sticker that wasn't what I bought it for. It was like less than a dollar. And yeah, VHS. I'm old school. It's one of those guilty pleasure films where you know it's not technically good, but it's really fucking entertaining, and the film never claims to be more than it is, and it fucking delivers what it promises. It's... I'm not gonna give away too much of the plot. It's just too much fun. I'm not gonna blow it. You'll find out when you watch the film. But basically, Dolph Lundgren is, you know, the tough cop that breaks the rules, and there's an alien in the film. And I'm not gonna get into... Uh, an awful lot more detail than that. Now, I personally mainly watched it because of Brian Benben. -Ben. Now, I don't know if you've maybe heard of a show called Dream On. I haven't actually watched a lot of it, but what I did watch just... it was fucking there. I loved every second of it. And... I, I fucking love Brian Benben. -Ben. I try to watch him in anything. Seriously, if you haven't watched Dear Woman and you like... Um, and you like John Landis, try to watch it somehow. It's uh, one of the episodes of the Masters of Horror. He is so fucking hilarious in this. He's so much fun to watch. He plays the cliché procedural jerk uh, that Dolph has to put up with, and he is just, you know, you could... you just want to punch him from the first frame you see him. For all the cliches, the plot's actually fairly original. I haven't heard of that plot being used elsewhere particularly. Only a few cases, anyway. The film is like 90 minutes long, and it's just... There isn't a boring second to be found. You've got car chases, shootouts, there's some physical fighting as well, and it's just a blast to watch. Um, you know, the, and the plot develops at, an, at a really good pace, and there isn't a wasted moment in it. It's... Often when you see these, like, not, you know, not big, um, famous productions, very often they kind of phone it in and say, ah, you know, we've got this guy, or we've got a couple of explosions, people will pay, we don't care if they're happy or not, not this fucking movie. You can tell, the effort is there in every moment, and, and again, it's not a well-produced film, the cinematography ain't gonna win any awards, it's very well cut, but, well, for this, anyway, but it's so much fucking fun to watch and it never loses your attention. And I would also say it does hold some surprises. I did not see everything coming. Yeah, as long as you take it for what it is, you're gonna have a hell of a good time watching this film. As far as cheesy B-action flicks from the early 90s go, this is one of those that actually makes an effort to be worth your time. And I personally think it succeeds. That's all for this one. See you next time.